What's up guys, JV2017 here, and today I'm going to compare the new Vault Tech Workshop DLC pack with Darth Wayne's Build Your Own Vault mod. Before we start the video, I'm going to take around 45 seconds to share a product with you all. This is a paid sponsorship for a product that is relevant to our community, and as always, I want to maintain full disclosure. Here is Amino, a new app available on iOS and Android. Amino allows you to create an account, join the Fallout community, and browse a news feed full of Fallout-related, user-generated content. You can also join thousands of other communities, like Bethesda Amino, for example, and access all of them from the same app. Within the Fallout community, you'll see things like character builds, community polls, fan fiction, and guides on the forum section if you need more tips and tricks. You can also interact with others in the Fallout community, community by joining public chats and commenting on posts. Overall, if you love Fallout and want to interact more with this great community, I encourage you all to download Amino using the links in the description below. I'll be making my own posts on the app over the next few days, so be sure and follow JV2017 on Amino. A lot of people bring up Build Your Own Vault when criticizing the Vault Tech DLC Workshop Pack with the claim that you can do the exact same thing, the exact same vault building for free with Build Your Own Vault. So I wanted to set the record straight by comparing both objectively and then sharing my thoughts afterwards. Starting off with the Vault Tech Workshop DLC Pack, we have a brand new area. That's one of the distinguishing factors actually between you know the mod and the DLC. We have Vault 88, which you can go to. You can actually walk inside. You have this grand entrance like here, and then you can start building inside of and so if you're comparing the two the mod and the DLC this is definitely uh, something that the DLC does provide to you but this is just a build right here I'm not really showing off anything specific with this build it was just something I used in a stream but once you come in here you also have an hour-long quest line and that's definitely uh, something unique to the DLC once again, since we're doing a comparison here. And so I'm just going to quickly go through a lot of the new items. We're really just going to kind of browse and, you know, just compare things, basically. So we have a giant domestic category here. We, of course, we have this new category vault underneath structures. And then within here, we have all of our different building pieces. And so very briefly, we have domestic, which has a lot of hallways and a lot of just kind of structural pieces that you can use to kind of snap together. Three-way, you know, window, corner, four-way, hallway, you know, four way with doorways, you know, all kinds of stuff, stairs, stairwells, prefab, different kind of things that fit together in certain manners that kind of help you uh, if you're trying to build something specific. But this is pretty much what you get out of domestic. And then utility is the same thing, just with a red uh, kind of theme there. So nothing really to point out there. Then if we go to wide halls, this is just a different kind of uh, format here, just wider. If you want to snap these together, you certainly can uh, do that and then of course we have different interchanges three-way four-way doorways corners and pieces that kind of cap things off so you have all those different options and then if we go over to rooms we have different kind of themes for small uh, areas in our vault so if we want a security room we could go to the security tab and kind of build different things again lots of doorways windows mid pieces corners that all snap together to form you know whatever kind of room that you want and so within you know these themes we have let's just go we have uh, security quarters overseer nursery clinic cafeteria and then common so lots of different options there but if we move on now we have atrium and so within atrium there's a lot of different pieces you can cr use to create a really big room as you can tell that's pretty much what i've done right here let's get rid of some of these supports here just to show you guys yeah just you have a lot of these giant huge building block pieces and so you have prefab ones that are already kind of made and then you have ceiling pieces and end pieces that all kind of fit together in a certain way and then atrium has a lot of other different options and i've already used them all around this room really but lots of doorways floors you know pieces bottoms all this kinds of stuff mid pieces all things that fit together to make a giant you know structure if you want it and also some prefab kind of things if you want to just not worry about uh trying to fit things together in certain ways but atrium gives you a lot of options to build a really really large room within um, your vault and your buildable space but moving on within the vault category we also have doors which include some windows and whatnot that kind of fit into areas that you're already going to make and then railings and stairs if you want to connect certain things in a certain way like this for example i can certainly do that along with bridges that kind of go across if that's kind of something you want to do that's something i did in my vault 101 build and then supports. Supports allow you to uh, kind of reach different areas and also make sure that your vault isn't floating. So if I wanted to go build this elsewhere in another location on the map, 
I certainly could if I completed the quest line. And I would probably use these supports to make sure that, you know, everything wasn't just floating in the air as I was building it. But really, when you look at this mod, you have one underground buildable space within Vault 88, and then you can kind of build this stuff elsewhere and kind of pretend that it's a vault. But, in, you know, in reality, it's not really a vault unless it's underground. But this is the one underground location. And again, you get the quest line, the experiments, that kind of stuff, along with some power options, some other miscellaneous things. But again, we're just kind of focusing on the vault building aspect of what's going on here. But that's what you get out of the Vault Tech Workshop DLC pack. Now we're taking a look at the Build Your Own Vault mod by Darth Wayne. And this is actually a mod that I've already covered on my channel. If you guys have been with me for a while, it was several months ago. And this was part of my mod uh, spotlight showcase series on the channel. But haven't done that in a while. But let's just go ahead and look at what you can do with this mod in terms of building your own vault. So there are several settlements around the Commonwealth where you can build your own vault. I believe there was five at first, but now it's been expanded. It's almost like... I think 10 to 20 now a lot of the settlements not all of them but a lot of them you can go ahead and go into their special menu after you've downloaded this mod once again link in the description below if you want to check out this mod on all systems uh, i've provided that for you guys but in order to build a vault you have to pick one of those settlements and then go to the special category here and then build this vault entrance and snap a vault elevator onto it and then you can go inside and it's one of those elevators just like vault 111 at the very beginning of the game that's how you enter this vault and so you're greeted with this giant kind of fancy vault entrance kind of similar to what we had in vault 88 but again a big distinguishing factor here is that you can put this in several different settlements you can uh, have this kind of set up right here and also it, cre it creates basically an instanced version of a vault that's all for yourself and it's a fully functioning settlement just like what you get with the vault tech workshop dlc pack and so let's just hop in and show you guys there's a lot of different uh new things going on here like there's some power stuff within connectors and switches and some resource stuff that's new with this but kind of, we're kind of focusing on the vault building aspect once again so of course we have this this is the dlc we just looked at but if you scroll all the way over with this mod you'll find this actual other vault category named the exact same and so Let's hop in here and look at all these different options. And so very generally speaking, the big categories that you have are small halls, large halls, small rooms, large rooms, doors, elevators, and miscellaneous. So kind of a similar setup there. But if you go into small halls, you pretty much have the same kind of set of things you can do. So you have doorway pieces. So let's just place a doorway piece here. We have another doorway piece here that's kind of smaller. If you wanted kind of a smaller segment there, a small hallway segment, a longer hallway segment, and then a hallway segment with kind of a different flooring right there, which is something we have corner piece crossing a three way crossing, a four way crossing. If we want to do that and snap that on there, uh, just like that, we have a stair piece doorways on each side, windows, kind of things like that. And then an end cap. So this is very, very similar to the domestic category that we have in the DLC. And then we can go on to large halls. So this is kind of the same thing as small halls, but just wider which makes sense. We actually don't have that, this in the Vault Tech Workshop DLC pack if we're directly comparing the two, which we pretty much are. And so we have these options, but then we go into here and these are actually almost identical, I feel like, to what we have in Vault Tech Workshop. So we have these wide hallways here. I think the roof is actually the only difference since there's more stuff going on there. And these seem like kind of higher, high t higher texture versions of what we have in the DLC. Um, but we have these same pieces in the DLC pack right here, these large hallways underneath um, a similar category in that DLC. But moving on, small rooms is actually kind of the same thing as the themed categories for rooms in the DLC. And so we have default, overseer, vintage, lavatory, storage, and rusty. All these different um, kind of themed options here if you want to go forth and do that. So if I want to go ahead and put a standard doorway here, I would do it just like that. And again, this is just themed. So got some wall pieces, some corner pieces, some floor pieces, some you know ceilings and whatnot. You pretty much get the gist of what you can do with that. Very similar to what's in the DLC. Then if we go into large rooms, imagine this is pretty much just like the atrium category. However, you don't have those large overarching pieces that you have in the vault Tech Workshop DLC pack. So you can do things like doorways, walls, windows, corners, and fit all those together. Together, and then you have a bunch of different floor options here again that's kind of similar to the atrium floor options you have just more though you have different kind of things and gap fillers floor halves things like that that are a little more um, particular and then you have ceilings I think we only have one atrium ceiling piece uh, but this gives you a lot of different kind of ceiling pieces to mess around with and then you have stairs and bridges which are pretty much standard what you would expect 
um, from that. But you don't have those giant prefab pieces like we, you do in the uh, vault Tech Workshop DLC pack. And so moving on, we have different kinds of doors, which is actually nice. They don't all look the same. So you have different kind of themes right there. We have elevators, which definitely aren't in the vault Tech Workshop DLC pack. They are, however, in contraptions. Um, but these are actually really different. You, you have different options here. You know, like a nice, a super fast elevator, which is really nice kind of for an overseer. Um, and different bottom pieces that kind of fit together, elevator shafts, that's really cool. And then finally, under miscellaneous, this stuff is found under doors in the DLC, but it's in its own category right here for vault. But once again, there are little pieces kind of scattered about um, that I could, you know, go into more depth. But um, this is generally the gist of what you can do in terms of vault building with, you know, just the build your own vault mod. So after looking at the Vault Tech Workshop DLC pack and then the Build Your Own Vault mod back to back, it's pretty safe to say that these two are very similar. And for that reason, I think it's a legitimate criticism to look at the Vault Tech Workshop DLC pack and say, hey, why would I spend $5 when I can get the same kind of building from a free mod? It's available on all platforms, even PS4 when it comes out. This is already made for PS4. Of course, we can't ignore the fact that the DLC actually offers more than what you can do in the mod. The DLC has the new area, it has the quest line, it has the experiments. Those are definitely things that, you know, add some value to the fact that it's a $5 DLC. With Build Your Own Vault, it is literally all about about building your own vault and you do have a limited amount of areas you can do that in and I guess it's kind of the same thing with vault tech workshop you're limited to the settlements but that's what we expect so once again I was a bit skeptical when people were saying this is exactly the same as the mod I already have it is very similar to the mod that they already have however there are some additional things that come with that DLC pack and they can't be ignored so I think it's a part of the conversation I don't think it points to you know necessarily a correlation causation issue where hey oh it looks like they exactly copied this mod some people will definitely watch this video and immediately comment that I totally expect that but I don't think that's what's going on here I think we do have to give Bethesda the benefit of the doubt I'd like to hear from you guys in the comment section below how do you feel about DLC packs being similar to mods we've already had the situation people pointed it out since the very first workshop pack so let me know what you guys are feeling in the comment section below all right guys today I compared the vault tech workshop DLC pack and the build your own vault mod for fallout 4. Next time, we will cover more Fallout on my channel, so stay tuned for Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. If you learned something new or enjoyed the video, remember to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for more DLC coverage, my survival mode live streams, Bethesda.net mods, and general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time. Peace!